Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Master 2456, where today we will be looking over Mega Salamence for our week of Dragon type Pokemon battling strategies. And I decided to look over Mega Salamence instead of regular Salamence because Salamence has really been used since Generation 3. It's an overpowered Pokemon. It's not an overpowered Pokemon, but it's a pseudo legendary, so it's really good. But uh, Mega Salamence has not seen some spotlight because it has been banned to Ubers. And we know Ubers is not as popular as OU which is the most popular format. But now, since Pokebank has been released and we have not had the chance to do any bans yet, Mega Salamence, um, including other banned Pokemon, including Aegislash and uh, Mega Kangaskhan and some others, including all legendaries, uh, have been moved down to OU because we have not had the chance to ban them. And uh, as of now, as the time of filming this, uh, any Pokemon that has a Mega Stone and Sun and Moon can be used, so that means, of course, Mega Kangaskhan, I'm, uh, and at least Mega Salamence. I'm not sure about Mega Kangaskhan. I'm pretty sure we got the uh, Mega Stone for Mega Kangaskhan. Anyways, let's get right into this, because this is about Mega Salamence, is not Kangaskhan. Anyways, we get to use an OU, and that's bad for a lot of people, because this Pokemon is really good. When we look at the stats, solid HPs and great defense. Not too good as special defense, but you know, 94 lower stat, I'll take it. Good special attack, great speed, and we're going to pay out speed in a lot of things, and great attack, being 145. So let's get into the move set. This set is just classic Salamence. You go max attack, and, so and you have solid speed when you uh, put 252 in there. And for the move set, you, uh, you can go for actually body slam, and you can hope for paralysis, because you do have a 30% chance to paralyze a target. Uh, oh, maybe we should go over the great ability that Mega Salamence gets. Uh, Mega Salamence gets. Uh, this Pokemon's normal type moves become flying type and have 1.2 times their power. So we can go for body slam, which will get that aerial late boost. And uh, you don't even have to go to, for body slam, but the big deal is uh, your normal type moves, not only will they get stabbed because you're flying type, but they'll get boosted from your aerial aid ability, and that's just really good. So you can go for body slam, or if you're looking for more just raw damage, get in there and uh, take some names, you can go for a turn. Dragon Claw for uh, those dragon types, because flying only does neutral damage. And uh, Double Edge. This is where it starts getting really good. Double Edge. Uh, even though it has recoil, take a look at the base power. Even though, even if it didn't have the Aerial Aid ability, that's still a great move. And it's only getting better with the Aerial Aid boost. So that's really good. And uh, you can also switch this hard hitting move out for Thrash. Uh, Thrash, like Outrage, locks you in for two or three turns and confuses you afterwards. Uh, it has the same stats. Um, as as double edge, but you're not getting recoil. But in return, you get locked into a move and confused. And uh, you can also go for the Giga Impact. That's really gonna hurt. Uh, although you cannot move next turn, if uh, that's pretty much a guaranteed knockout on anything. That's really good. And uh, let's say your opponent tries to burn you, par par paralyze you. Excuse me, but uh, well. You have Facade, and guess what? It's a normal type move, so if you get burned, paralyzed, or even poisoned, your power doubles, and you get that Aerial Light boost. That's even better. And so really, when we uh, take a look at these uh, Aerial Light boosts, that's why Mega Pinsir and Mega Al Altaria, with its pixelate ability, is so good. Uh, Pokemon with uh, these types of abilities are just really good because they get stabbed on uh, some of the moves that are just a little bit underwhelming. But it turns out, when once they get these abilities, they're pretty much OP, especially that Giga Impact or Double Edge. Okay, and next on to, uh, on to the uh, next set, the Salamence set is a mixed attacker. You have uh, Dragon Dance if you predict a switch, and uh, I like going for Dragon Dance. See, I did some damage calculations. This is a Salamence against a Dazzling Gleam Tapu Koko with max special attack. Okay. If you go for Dragon Dance, okay, Dazzling Gleam becomes a two-hit KO. Now, there is a chance to one-hit KO, but it's not likely. Very, very unlikely. So, you're going to put Earthquake on it. And this is really a problem with this set, because we get walled by Taku Koko with this set. 
not so much the other salad sets, but this one, we get walled a little bit with Tapu Coco. So, we're going to uh, counter that. And Earthquake's a good move too, so why not? So, the idea here is go for Dragon Dance against anything. And uh, it, it doesn't have to be Tapu Coco. And then go for the Earthquake, or if you need to switch up, go for a Hyper Voice. And uh, you're going to have one hard hitting move. Outrage is really good because uh, it's a, a stab dragon type move, but again, now that I think of it, you can actually just switch that out for Thrash because that would actually be bad. So that's really good, yeah, and this is a really good set. A lot more versatile than just a straight classic talent set with uh, max attack. And this set, I put uh, 100 in the attack, 156 with a boosting nature and the special attack. You don't want to go modest because that uh, minuses your attack, so we're just going to go rash. So you definitely do not want to take more than two special hits. One Dazzling Glaive is good, and like I said, go for the Dragon Dance, you're plus one on that attack, and you go for an Earthquake, that's a guaranteed one hit KO. None said about it. Even if we were, even if the top of Coco was somehow running max uh, HP, that still wouldn't make a difference because uh, one, a plus uh, plus one earthquake was really good coming from Omega Salamence. And uh, you have some good capabilities here. I put a little bit more into the special attack than the uh, physical attack because, uh, of course, we don't need as much for the attack because it's already so good, and we have a lot more moves to cater to our physical attack than our. Uh, regular, uh, that are special attack. So that's really good, and Hyper Voice is just a great move. Works in doubles, so you can bring any of these sets to doubles, but this is my favorite set, and this is the one I use. This is like, I play a lot of doubles OU, and this is the one I use. You have, uh, Hyper Voice. It's both Pokemon, that's great. You also have Draco Meteor Stab, uh, so <laughs> if maybe you're down on uh, low HP, Hit it with a Draco Meteor if it's not a fairy type, and uh, you're you're dead after that, but that's okay because you probably killed something after that. But with your uh, Draco Meteor. Uh, Swift is not really uh, a good move to use. I just put it on there because uh, the uh, it doesn't check accuracy and uh, it hits both foes, and that's really good. But the best part, my favorite part about this, is the Hyper Beam. Now Hyper Beam is like a Giga Impact. It has 150 base power, it's a special move, and it has 90% accuracy, but it's completely OP. Because when you look at it, you max out the special attack, that's 327, uh, 372, and that's just amazing on Hyper Beam, because guess what, it's a normal type move, and we're getting that aerial late boost. So that's really, really good. It's just a great move. I'm going to use this set a lot more. Please use, well, no, don't use Mega Salons, because it's too OP. Uh, I, I wouldn't bring it to doubles, <laughs> it's kind of a jerk move. And bringing any any type of legendary to uh, anything under Ubers, it's kind of a jerk move, but of course, uh, it's legal, so why not use it? And you also have some coverage here, you don't even have to go to Swift. You can, of course, go for the Earthquake, uh, because we do get walled with Tapu Coco in this set. Or you can go for a Heat Wave, because that also hits both foes if you bring it to doubles. And you have a 95 accurate, uh, a 90 accuracy with 95 power. And guess what? It's a special move to cater to our special attack stat. So these are these are just the best uh, sets I could uh, I came up with for Salamence. Really, any set on Mega Salamence is so good. This aerial light ability is really really good. And guys, I hope you try it. And hopefully, this beast will get moved to Ubers sometime soon because I it's a Pokemon that I love to use, but I hate coming up against. So this is just how to use Mega Salamence, and there will be more Dragon type strategies along with just other Pokemon uh, type strategies of any type, so please stay tuned, and this is Dylan from Pokemon Master 2456, and I am signing out, thank you guys for watching.